In this video, we shall learn the various mountain passes in the country. To begin with, we take up Jammu and Kashmir. Here the passes are the first one, Aghil Pass. Now it is a pass crossing in the Aghil Mountains, which lies to the north of the Karakoram Range. Next one is the Karakoram Pass. It lies between India and China in the Karakoram Range. The pass is in a saddle between two mountains and about 45 meters wide. It also plays a major geographic role in the dispute between Pakistan and India over control of the Siachen Glacier area immediately to the west of the pass. There is no motorable road across the pass and the pass currently remains close to all traffic. Next one is the Banihal Pass. It is a pass across the Pir Panjal range. This mountain range separates the Kashmir Valley and Kashmir from the outer Himalaya and the plains to the south. Next one is Burzil Pass. Burzil Pass is an ancient pass and caravan route between Srinagar in Kashmir and Gilgit. A tunnel is constructed under the Banihal Pass known as the Jawahar Tunnel. The road now passes through the tunnel and the Banihal Pass is no longer used for road transport. The pass lies close to the line of control and this route was active up to Pakistan's independence. The other passes are Kara Tang Pass and Khardungla Pass. Now this pass lies on the Ladakh range north of Leh and it is the gateway to the Shayok and Nubra valleys. Shayok and Nubra are the tributaries of river Indus. Then it is Changla Pass. It is a high mountain pass in the Ladakh region. It is claimed to be the second highest motorable road in the world. Next one is the Lanak La Pass. It is a mountain pass in the Tibet, which is the autonomous region of China. It is on the southeastern boundary of the Aksai Chin region that is controlled by China. Other passes are Tanglang La Pass, Joji La Pass. Now Joji La Pass is a high mountain pass in Jammu and Kashmir. It is located on the Indian National Highway number 1D between Srinagar and Leh. Next we come to Himachal Pradesh. Here the first one is Rotang Pass. It is a high mountain pass on the eastern Pir Panjal range. It connects the Kulu Valley with the Lahul and Spiti Valleys of Himachal Pradesh. Then it is Baralacha Pass. It is again a high mountain pass in Jhaskar range connecting Laul district in Himachal Pradesh to Ladakh in Jammu and Kashmir. And it is situated along the Leh Manali Highway. Then it is Shipiki La Pass. It lies in Kinnau district. Then we come to Uttarakhand. Here, first one we take up is Mana Pass. It is a mountain pass in the Himalayas on the border between India and Tibet. It is one of the highest vehicle accessible pass in the world. Then it is Lipu Lake Pass. Lipu Lake Pass is a disputed Himalayan pass controlled by India but also claimed by Nepal near their tri-point with Chinese trading town of Taklakot in Tibet. Then we come to Nepal. Here we shall learn two passes. One is Kora La. It is a mountain pass between Tibet and Upper Mastang. The second one is the Thorang La Pass. Then we come to the state Sikkim in India. Here two important passes. One is Nathula and other one is Jelipla. Now these are mountain passes in the Himalayas. 
and they connect Sikkim with China's Tibet Autonomous Region. Jalipla Pass connects Lhasa to India. Next, we come to Arunachal Pradesh. In Arunachal Pradesh, the passes are first one, Bumla. The next one is Tunga Pass. Now, Tunga Pass is a mountain pass on the border with India and it is located in the district of West Siang. The next one is Bomdila Pass. Next one is Yong Yap Pass. Then it is Dipu Pass. Dipu Pass is again a mountain pass around the area of the disputed tri-point borders of India, China and Myanmar. The other passes in Arunachal Pradesh are Kwam Jang Pass, Changkan Pass, Likpani Pass and Pan Sao Pass. Now we come to a little south. We come to the state of Rajasthan. In Rajasthan, we need to learn one pass which lies on the Aravali range and that is Haldi Ghati Pass. Haldi Ghati Pass is a mountain pass. It connects two districts that is Rajasmand and Pali. This pass is located at a distance of just 40 kilometers from Udaipur. The name Haldi Ghati is believed to have originated from turmeric colored yellow soil of the area. The next one is Asirghar Kila Pass. This pass goes through the Satpuras and it connects Barhanpur and Khandwa districts. It is one of the main routes connecting northern and southern India. Then we come to southern part of India. Here there are many passes along the western ghat. So the important passes are first one Thal Ghat. It is located on the busy Mumbai Nasik route. Second one is Malshej Ghat. It is again a mountain pass in the Thane Pune district of Maharashtra. The next one is Nene Pass. The next one is Bhor Ghat. It is again a beautiful mountain pass between Karjat and Khandala. Kumbharli Ghat. It is again a mountain pass in Maharashtra. It connects the coastal Ratnagiri district with the Satara district in Maharashtra. Next one, Amba Ghat is a mountain pass on the Ratnagiri Kolhapur road. Then it is Amboli Ghat. Then it is Chorala Ghat. Chorala Ghat is located on the intersection of the borders of Goa, Karnataka and Maharashtra. Finally, when we come to extreme south, it is Palaghat Gap. It is a low mountain pass in the western ghats between Coimbatur in Tamil Nadu and Palakhat in Kerala. The pass is located between the Nilgiri Hills in the north and Annamalai Hills in the south.